<sighs> so, how are we all at this impromptu uh, live that I just decided to do? Thank you, everyone, um, who found my message and is actually here. And special thanks to Glenda and Susan for being early birds, just like when we are um, ready for Pat. Now, I might not be looking at the camera, and that's because my monitors are over here to avoid the glare when I'm looking. So I'm just going to make sure, triple check that the second live that scheduled itself has actually disappeared. Yes, it is gone. So everyone should find this one. That is excellent. <laughs> Right, so um, who am I and why are we here? <laughs> My name's Kendall, as you all may or may not know, and um, we're here today. Oh, hey, Lynn. Hey, Amanda. Hey. It's telling me I'm not connected to the internet now. I hate this thing. Um, and we're here because I spoke too early about uh hosting a summer long and um it's now being called butterfly garden and you can see on the wall behind me here that i have actually started putting it together i've got one section to go um and i am writing the pattern the pattern is taking me forever to put together <laughs> but i am plodding along the real reason why I asked um, or put this live up for tonight is because in the original fabric requirements that I put out, I've underestimated the amount of background fabric. And um, that's because And that's because I can, I'm hearing myself, hold on. There we go. And that's because um, to frame the butterflies, we need some large strips, which we then cut back. So it's about one yard more. The requirements that I've got now coming out of my EQ8, which I'll just see if I can add one second. Um, are telling me that we need three and a half yards of background fabric. The other thing um, that I'm finding is um, the fabric requirements that I already put together are actually really quite generous. Um, just give me a moment. I'll get this little bucket. What's happening there? Anyway, that's not going to work for me, so we'll get rid of that. So apart from the background fabric requirements, which were low, just ignore what's happening on your screen. Um, the rest of the fabric requirements are actually quite generous. So I have everything already cut. And I have all of this still left over. So <laughs> you will be able to do everything with scraps. Um, except for that background, which will be the three and a half yards of the background fabric. Now... I also, oh, hey, Doris, thanks for joining. And thank you so much, Jane, for the super chat. Everyone else, please feel free to do the same. <laughs> I need the money, honey. Um, <laughs> you can either use the super chat um, or you can buy me a coffee. The link is under most of my other 
videos. Okay, so <clears throat> for the fabric requirements, three and a half yards of the background and you can use scraps for all the rest. It is less than one eighth of an inch for most things. I'm doing yellow on quite a few of my pieces and you'll see that throughout the videos. As I said, I am working terribly hard trying to write the pattern. It's my first time doing it and it is taking me forever. Um, but I'm putting it together. A lot of the stuff may or may not be in the pattern and that is where watching the videos will come in. Now, when is this actually starting? The sew along itself I'm using as a filler between Block Wednesdays. So the current Block Wednesday of What's in Your Closet will finish on the 16th of May, I think. So we will go live with Butterfly Garden on the 19th of May, which is the Saturday following that Wednesday. While all the videos will be pre-recorded, I will do a premiere each week on the Saturday morning to um, just be there to chat with you all. It won't be live like this one. It will just be um, a premiere like Pat does with her videos. Oh, thank you, Gail. <laughs> That's very nice of you. And um, Julie, I hope you have a late note. I hope you have a late note. We, you know, just because I schedule things at the last minute is no excuse for uh, you to be late. Anyway, so um, that is pretty much it uh, for the butterfly garden. I'll post some things to our file section. Um, now, the other thing I actually wanted to bring up is you may or may not have seen in the Kendall's Quilting Corner Facebook group that I offered kits for the fabrics that I'm using all bar the background. And I'm able to ship those to the US at, and it'd be at 145 US dollars. And as I just showed you before, there is actually quite a lot of fabric left over. So I may be able to bring that price down and recut the pieces, but I just need to gauge interest on who would like some sort of a, um, a kit, or if you're just going to be going with your own fabrics, you just have to let me know. Okay, so <laughs> unless there are any questions or burning issues that people would like to um, raise. That's actually all that I had for you today and hopefully it, it all made sense. Should I do a recap? <laughs> I can't change anything. <laughs> All right, I'll accept that, Julie. Oh, actually, one other thing before I go. I got brand new glasses and only one person commented and uh, noticed that I had brand new glasses. So, yes. Um, Renee, if you want a kit, you'll have to let me know what background color you want. I can't give you the same background I'm using because I have none of it left. But in Kendall's Quilting Corner, I gave options for a solid color background. So you can just um, take a look at that and let me know. Um, Susan, I have posted a picture in Kendall's Quilting Corner that you may or may not be a member of. But um, I can send you one once I get off the live. <laughs> All right, Renee, I'll do that. <laughs> well, hopefully it does, Julie. Um, I, I was just totally unprepared and I'm a bit mumbly and my... Um, Technology is not really working for me and every time I try and do something it tells me YouTube's not responding and um, yeah, 
But in a nutshell, the original fabric requirements that I posted are incorrect. I'm going to put new fabric requirements up. The main change is the background and it's because of the way we have to frame those butterflies. Um, and I've added a border, so I'll update a new pic <laughs> to the website as well. I'm also offering the kits that I just discussed and for the actual fabric requirements, it says an eighth and quarters for the different colors, but you can do it absolutely scrappy. None of the pieces are actually that big. I'm working hard on getting the pattern done. And it will start from the 19th of May. Yeah, the 19th of May. I think that was all of it. And if you want to give me money, you know, because I'm desperate, uh, <laughs> you can super chat, you can buy me a coffee, or send me an email and I'll send you a PayPal link. Why not? Nah, you don't have to. It's not expected. Um, Glenda, what am I sending you? The updated picture of the project. Uh, Doris, it's my Facebook group. I'll put in the chat. You just have to search for uh, what I'm putting here now. I just figured that, um, and this is in response to Doris, I have that Facebook group because even though I'm running these sew alongs, I'm still an ambassador for Pat. We have to keep mostly what I'm doing away from Pat's chats because we're there for Pat. So I created the separate Facebook group so that I could share things with people that weren't 100% Pat related, <laughs> just to keep a clear distinction between the two things. 99% of what I do is for Pat and as an ambassador for Pat. And there's just that little 1% um, that we um, have to keep separate. So yeah, I've just typed in, it's all spelt with K, so Kendall's Quilting Corner. I used to work in the quality assurance section of, our, of the government's uh, social security department. And I called my team the quality team, um, K-W-U-I-L-T-Y, because <laughs> it was quality with a K. And um, so I thought I'd uh, bring this over for Kendall's Quilting Corner. I can ship to Canada, Donna. Just um, if you can s join Kendall's Quilting Corner and um, we'll have to work out a price. Okay, that is my time, 15 minutes, and my computer is actually freaking out at uh, encoding all the video. So if there are any other questions, leave them in the comments here at YouTube, actually, if you don't want to join the Facebook group. Um, and I can respond to the comments here at, at YouTube as well. So that's it from me for today, folks. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you all either Monday or Tuesday back in the Sloan zone. Bye for now.